Hi guys and welcome to a belated board game crate unboxing. We, we've got two board game crates this month. Lucky. Um, a very belated board game crate <laughs> unboxing to say the least. No, I, no idea why. Better late than never. No, no, there's nothing been going on in your life. No, no, no major life changing no, events that no. could possibly have. They're just, uh, they're just lazy, all this chat about a baby. Wow. No. Uh, Iona's here today. <laughs> Hi guys. <laughs> don't, don't know why we brought her in for a cheek, but um, okay, so we've got, I think, August here right. and September here. You're putting your money on that? Um, no. <laughs> okay. No, because they're, they, they're not franked and there's no re-delivery notice on them or anything, so Good old Royal Mail. we're guessing that the lower number uh, maybe indicates. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, yeah. so it's really exciting because we don't even know which crate is which month. So there you go, double the excitement this month. Uh, we are of course still running our little promotion uh, in tandem with Board Game Crate, uh, where if you subscribe and you enter the code Unlucky Frog is awesome when you're completing your transaction, all lowercase, all one word, you can get five percent off of uh, off of your crate. I can almost hear Josh. Yeah. Just where are we going to say Haunting it? us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're not. We're not doing it. I mean, he, okay. like he'll, he'll probably appear in the comments of uh, this true, video yeah, or something. Yeah, I was going to say he'll comment underneath. Yeah. Yeah. But, but we'll leave him to it. Yeah. There we go. So, do you have any idea whatsoever? Not at all. Right. Not they at they all. do sometimes theme them depending on like seasons and things. Okay. Right. So. Pure conjecture here, because I've not. Uh, th this is how much having a baby changes your life. Like, I, I've not even been on social media to check what the. Because you know, normally people will post like this yeah, is my crate. Yeah, this is what I've been getting. They, they have the little Instagram competition. Right. As well, where it's you know they you tag yourself and you can win a free crate. I've not seen any of that. Right. I have been so, dead to the world. It's gonna be a total yeah. surprise. So I'm gonna say for the August one, maybe sort of holiday themed. Mm -hmm. Look like, yep, going on holidays. I don't know, like seaside, something like that. Right, okay. It's a horrible contribution, I know, but it's. <laughs> and then going into autumn got. for September? Uh, or maybe, maybe like, maybe a particularly sadistic sort of back to school type theme. Oh, you know? oh that, would be, that would be harsh. Yeah. But but nice for the parents. You know? <laughs> Please take my time. Yeah, just open up and then the reminder of back to school. Yep. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> so, um,. Let's move this one to one side and we will open this one up. It's been a while since I've done this so hopefully I don't uh, cut off any digits. So hopefully hopefully the August crate here. Let's see. So we've got the welcome to board game crate. The beautiful uh, polystyrene watsits, yep. as usual. Beautiful purple wrapping paper. And Ooh. we've got Mystery of the Temples. Ooh. So that I'm looks, gonna have a look at that one. That looks gorgeous. So yes, <laughs> it was the August one. <laughs> there we go. All right. Okay. And we've got. Um, oh, there you go. As if you needed more reasons to subscribe to Board Game Crate, all the packaging is recyclable. Oh, I did think that. Okay. Even the polystyrene ah. watsits. Yeah, Excellent. there you go. Equal conscious. And the usual, we've got an article um, this month by a Malcolm Cox uh, on introducing new gamers to the hobby. The articles in here are usually really good. We've got another one uh, for enhancing your gameplay, so that's you know, like using inserts, token trays, that kind of thing. Yep, very good. So there you go. That was the newsletter. Right. Um, we've got another one of these. Josh and I struggled with this the first time. The laser ox, the card holder. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah, obviously. So it builds together a little rack. Right. Okay. And then it means that you can keep your. Oh, nobody's gonna be eyeing yeah. up your or, hand. Or or you can use it as like a draw and discard pile. Okay. Keep yep. things neat, you yep. know. Yeah, got a nice wee logo on it there. And 
that this is one that I have wanted to play for a while, so I'm quite I'm quite chuffed about this one. Hey, what is it? It is Castle Panic. Oh yes. So it's a sort of tower defense type game. Uh, I think I think this one's had a couple of editions. It's quite a. It's been out. It's been out for a while, but it's still a, a favorite among gamers. Clearly so. missing from your shelves. So. Yep. And a nice sort of kid-friendly aesthetic. Yeah. So a bit, bit of a sort of fantasy theme for August here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm what, really liking the artwork on this one. Yeah, this one looks really nice. So this one is... You are trying to break a curse. Okay. Yeah, and chain the crystals wee, to break curses. And a wee uh, card game there. Yeah. Quite a nice size. That's yeah. Kind of, if you're chatting, you know, we're talking about holiday theme, but that yeah. would fit in your suitcase. But you've got, you've you've almost got like the sort of two opposite ends of the spectrum here, because this one's a fairly large footprint game. <laughs> yeah. And then you've got the little one. one. So there we go. There's there's August there, mm -hmm. and then we do need to check. And there's supposed to be extra goodies. Because I always get in trouble off of uh, Pete. Is it in the for this? Or? Is it in the paper? No, oh, what is it? Nope. I don't think there is one. No. Oh. Nope. We're good. I think we're clear. I think it is this. This oh, is the. Okay, rather than yeah, the... this is the sort of nice. okay. accessory for. So we were right about August. Yes. <laughs> it looks like Christmas, isn't it? <laughs> Double these boxes. Two yeah. Christmases at once. Oh no. Oof. I don't think we should make a habit of this though. I don't. I don't think board game crate would be too happy. No, that's, uh, we're yeah. Back on it now. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. I forgot to do the. No, we did the guessing thing. We did, we did yeah, the guessing we did thing. So September books. newsletter. Yep. Um, little article on how to oh. manage your finances, and there's a baby in a crate. <laughs> Um, there yep. you go. Yep. There are, as far as I'm aware, no one has gotten a baby in the crate. I would hope not. Um, uh, they're not branching out in that direction. But... An article on the importance of uh, theme to gaming. Back to school! Oh, yes. I was Full right, marks. yes. Full marks for yep. Mr. Porter. On it. So, we've got Honshu. This is, this is one that um, I've heard a lot of buzz about. This one's quite a, a popular one. Okay. It's a trick-taking game with the sort of poly domino, domino oh, type thing yep. going on. Yep, yep. So it looks okay. as though you, you are trying to seek new lands, so you're sort of plotting building, out little towns building and lands. Building your own wee place, that kind yeah. Of thing. yeah. Another Japanese style game. And again you've got the small footprint game and the, the and larger footprint one. Right. And it's um that you can see on the back. Doesn't take up a lot of space at all. On shoe. And we do love a Japanese theme, don't we? We do, we do indeed. Nice Zen aesthetic. Yes. Uh, yes, it is. Dices. Dices. We've got a <laughs> D eight and a D twenty. Nice and a bright, sort of bright green. What would you say? That's it's sort of like like a, a candy, candy green. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That like new um, Crayola color. Or if you are a Warhammer enthusiast, Warpstone. Well, that's probably yeah. a better description than candy green. But yeah. yeah. A bit go a bit more fantasy with it. Mm -hmm. And we've got one that I have not heard of called Seasons. Ooh. And this? oh, this is set in the the Zedit universe because you've got the Lords of Zedit. Right, oh, one right, you've got right the there, shelf there. Right there. Yeah. Um, and this is so it's obviously another uh, fantasy themed game. Yeah. But in this one, instead of playing a conquering warlord, you are playing a wizard. Mm. Uh, we we like a nice good sweet sort of twist there. Wizardy fantasy game. Uh, lots of nice components there. Se oh, season twenty season dice. 20. Okay. And like what about the artwork? Has that changed since the last one, or is it? A similar no, I think theme? it's a similar similar aesthetic to Lords of Zedit. That sort of heroic scale, uh, high fantasy, 
aesthetic there again. Nice, very nice. I mean, you've even got it there with that. You've got quite surreal landscapes. And yeah. Things. And like, is that a dragon? That's quite a stylized dragon. Like an imp, isn't it? Like imp, a little, no, a little demon. There's a dragon on the back somewhere. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But he, he's just like a little... He's a little baby dragon. He looks quite nasty though, doesn't he? Yeah. No, the way he's clutching that gold. I wouldn't trust him. No, I'm not going to mess with him. But don't think you really mess with dragons. So you're gathering energy, summoning familiars there. So that okay, explains okay. the little small nasty creatures okay. and collecting magic items to basically become the most the best the biggest baddest wizard, wizard out there which i mean that that sounds right up my street so Very good. two separate months but over the two of them quite a, a nice sort of spiritual fantasy feel to it all yeah so Looking forward to trying them out. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, there you go, guys. Uh, let us know um, what you think of these games, if you've played them, what you're looking forward to playing, um, and uh, just generally join in the conversation. Thank you for, for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.